Hey, Laura. Hey, Marissa. What time is it? It's Divine Mother Earth time. And what a super divine mother we have with us today, our dear friend, Aurora. Uh, Rising Phoenix Aurora, I'm so happy that you're with us today. Um, we have done quite a bit together. We're all really good friends. So this is going to be a, a very awesome. We're all going to talk about things we love to talk about and about your new book coming out. So I want to just share a few words about you and then Marissa, take it away with uh, the first question. So Aurora is a galactic historian. She's an author. She's a founder of Aura Hypnosis Healing and Rising Phoenix Mystery School. She's a spiritual revolutionist and a channel to Ra and also an Akashic reader. So that's amazing. And you've got your second book coming out. First one was Galactic History. Um, and the second one, same, like part two, or we'll get into that, but. Yes. Oh my goodness. What an honor it is to be here. My heart is tickling. <laughs> wow. I excited mm. to have you, Aurora. Just uh, such okay. an honor to be here on your show. And uh, you beautiful divine feminine are so strong in your hearts. And I feel blessed, honored, and honored to have been able to find you in this um, in this life. So thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. And I'm excited to go into the topics that we're going to go into. Most importantly, we all love divine mother, our creator. And yes, yeah, so answer your question, Laura, this is book two. So book one, Galactic Soul History of the Universe, um, goes into the background like, of the New World Order, some of the aliens like, you know, um, reptilians, what they are, how all of that works. And then it basically finishes it off where us understanding the beginnings to what is the Arconda Artificial Intelligence, the Matrix. So it ends it with that with the matrix pods. So it's gigantic to understand because this was actually um, delivered, posted officially 1221, 2020. And remember that, if we remember that date, that was the bifurcation date. And that's when this came out. So we had to wait three years just to get book two out next because of how sensitive that content was because we were about to go the deepest that anyone has ever gone into as far as what it really is the archon removing any illusions or false um data false information that it talks and tells people that it is but um divine mother divine mother sophia as well as the daughter of the flame the phoenix were i was channeled to them and they explained exactly the whole background what it is how it began and we begin it with, um, it's just such an infinite amount of chapters. It's quite phenomenal. I actually, I don't have the book yet because it, uh, the release of date of this book is not yet known, but if you give me access, I can share you the, the book cover just so you are aware of it once you see it. Um, if you make me co-host, I think I could share Laura, the book screen. Yeah. Um, so, wow, <laughs> it's, it's just incredible incredible the, the truth of what it really is um yeah so here's the book cover yeah here's the book cover here which is phenomenal so this is divine mother sophia divine mother sophia with phoenix and then this is a representation to the archon the it which is trying to consume and you know eat and attach to her creations her beautiful creations and how she she shows us through this history here the, of the multiverse because in order to understand what it was we did have to go into the multiverse so this is the final battle so what everyone has been waiting for how do we finally eradicate it from all time life and space and we go through the journey of that how we get there 